Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Welcome history enthusiasts to another exciting episode of the History AI Podcast. I'm Chuck. And I'm Marco. Today, we're delving deep into one of history's most pivotal battles, the Battle of Zama. That's right. We're traveling back to 202 BC, to a time when the Roman Republic and the Carthaginian Empire were vying for supremacy in the Mediterranean. But before we dive into the Clash of Titans, a quick reminder to rate, subscribe, and share our podcast. Your five-star reviews help us reach more history buffs like you. To truly appreciate the Battle of Zama, we need to set the stage. This was more than just a battle, it was the climax of a bitter rivalry between two ancient superpowers, Rome and Carthage. Right Chuck. The Second Punic War, raging since 218 BC, was a titanic struggle. It's like the ancient version of a world war, with battles spanning across the Mediterranean. At the heart of this conflict were two brilliant generals. On one side, Hannibal Barca, a name that struck fear in the hearts of Romans. He wasn't just a general, he was a nightmare for Rome, infamous for his daring crossing of the Alps with war elephants. And then, there's the Roman hero, Scipio Africanus. Young, ambitious, and incredibly talented. He rose through the ranks and sought to neutralize the Carthaginian threat once and for all. The years leading up to Zama were a roller coaster. Hannibal had spectacular victories in Italy, including the legendary Battle of Cannae, where he decimated a much larger Roman army. But he couldn't deliver the knockout punch. Rome, resilient as ever, refused to surrender. Meanwhile, Scipio was making waves in Spain, pushing Carthaginian forces out and gaining valuable experience. Exactly. And here's where it gets interesting. Rome, tired of being on the defensive, decided to take the fight to Carthage. Scipio lands in North Africa, causing such alarm that Carthage recalls Hannibal from Italy. And that sets the stage for Zama. Two military geniuses, at the peak of their powers, clashing in a battle that would decide the fate of their nations. It's the perfect storm, Marco. A battle not just of armies, but of wits, strategies, and the will to dominate the ancient world. And the outcome? Well, that's what we're here to dive into. Buckle up listeners, as we journey back to 202 BC, where the fate of empires hung in the balance at the Battle of Zama. Alright, let's get into the nitty-gritty of the Battle of Zama. This wasn't just any fight, it was a masterclass in military tactics and strategy. Exactly Chuck. So, it's 202 BC. Both armies are facing off near Zama in North Africa. Hannibal has hastily assembled an army, including his famous war elephants, mercenaries, and local recruits. On the other side, Scipio has a disciplined Roman legion and a crucial advantage, his Numidian cavalry allies, led by King Massinissa. The battle begins with Hannibal's elephants charging forward. Now, this would usually terrify any army, but Scipio had a plan. He trained his troops to create lanes, channeling the charging elephants harmlessly through the Roman lines. Some were even corralled to turn back and disrupt Hannibal's own infantry. That's right, Chuck. After the initial chaos, the infantry clashed. Hannibal's veterans, positioned at the center, pushed hard against the Roman legions. But here's where Scipio's brilliance shines. He uses a maneuver similar to the famous refused flank. His men gradually extend their line, wrapping around Hannibal's troops. Meanwhile, the Numidian cavalry, initially feigning retreat, engage Hannibal's cavalry. They decisively defeat them and crucially, return to attack Hannibal's infantry from behind. This double envelopment was a stroke of genius. Hannibal's forces, now attacked from both sides, begin to crumble. The Carthaginian center, under immense pressure, starts to break. The battle turns into a rout. Hannibal, realizing the dire situation, manages to escape with a small band of his troops. But the damage was done. Scipio's victory was decisive. It wasn't just about brute force, it was about tactical flexibility, understanding the enemy, and exploiting their weaknesses. Absolutely Chuck. The Battle of Zama stands as a testament to military strategy, and one of the greatest demonstrations of battlefield tactics in ancient history. Now, let's delve into the tales of heroism and the tactical brilliance that define Zama. 
This battle wasn't just about Scipio and Hannibal, it involved countless acts of courage and strategic ingenuity. First up, let's talk about the Roman centurion Lucius Petrus. Amidst the chaos of clashing elephants and infantry, Lucius led a small group of soldiers to form a defensive pocket, protecting them from the rampaging beasts. And not just that Marco. When one of Hannibal's war elephants broke through nearby lines, it was Lucius who, with incredible bravery, led a charge against it. Armed only with a spear and a shield, he managed to blind the elephant, driving it away from his men. Speaking of bravery, let's not forget the Numidian cavalry. Led by King Massinissa, these were not just auxiliary forces, they were crucial to Scipio's victory. Their swift and strategic attacks on Hannibal's flanks were game changers. Absolutely Marco. And about the tactics, Scipio's use of the double envelopment strategy was a masterstroke. He adapted the traditional Roman phalanx formation into more flexible maniples, allowing his troops to encircle Hannibal's forces effectively. And let's not overlook the psychological tactics. Scipio knew about the potential terror of war elephants. So, he trained his troops to use loud noises and movement to create confusion among these beasts, turning them back onto Hannibal's own lines. Indeed. This battle was a combination of courage, quick thinking, and innovative tactics. Each soldier, from the lowest rank to the highest commander, played a crucial role in this monumental victory. It's these stories and strategies that make the Battle of Zama not just a historical event, but a legend of human resilience, ingenuity, and bravery. When discussing a battle as monumental as Zama, it's important to address the human cost and the long-term consequences it had on the ancient world. You're right Chuck. The casualties at Zama were significant, though exact numbers are lost to history. Estimates suggest that Carthage suffered tens of thousands of casualties, including dead and captured. The Roman losses were also substantial, though likely lower. These numbers represent more than just statistics. Each casualty had a profound impact on families, communities, and nations. The loss of life at Zama resonated across the Mediterranean, altering demographics and economies. And moving beyond the immediate human cost, the lasting impact of Zama is immense. This battle didn't just decide the outcome of the Second Punic War, it reshaped the power dynamics of the ancient world. The Battle of Zama wasn't just another tick in the win column for Rome, it was a pivotal moment in world history. The repercussions of this battle echoed through the ages. Absolutely Chuck. Firstly, let's talk about the immediate aftermath. The victory at Zama ended the Second Punic War. Carthage, once a mighty power in the Mediterranean, was reduced to a mere client state of Rome. That's right. And the terms of surrender were harsh. Carthage lost its overseas territories, its navy was significantly reduced, and it had to pay a massive indemnity to Rome. This effectively ended Carthage's role as a major power and competitor to Rome. On the flip side, for Rome, this was a huge boost. Zama confirmed Rome's supremacy in the Mediterranean. It wasn't just about gaining territory, it was about sending a message, Rome was the dominant force to be reckoned with. And then there's the impact on military strategy. Scipio's tactics at Zama became a case study for future military leaders. The double envelopment maneuver, in particular, was studied and emulated in various forms throughout military history. Zama also changed the political landscape in Rome. Scipio Africanus became a celebrated hero. His success at Zama elevated his status, and he became a key figure in Roman politics and military affairs. The battle also marked a shift in Rome's approach to warfare and diplomacy. It solidified the Roman ethos of relentless pursuit of victory and dominance, influencing their military and political strategies for centuries. And let's not forget the broader cultural impact. The victory at Zama and the subsequent Roman expansion laid the foundations for the Roman Empire. This shaped the cultural, legal, and architectural development of Europe and the Mediterranean for generations. The battle's legacy is also etched in literature, art, and the collective memory of Western civilization. It's a story of conflict, strategy, and transformation that continues to captivate scholars and history enthusiasts alike. The Battle of Zama didn't just end a war, it reshaped the Mediterranean world, set the stage for the Roman Empire, and left a lasting legacy on military tactics politics, and culture. It was truly a turning point in the annals of history. As we wrap up, a huge thank you to our listeners. 
your support keeps history alive. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. And if you have a topic you're itching to hear about, let us know on social media. Also, exciting news. We've got History AI Podcast merchandise now. Use code the History AI Podcast at checkout for 10% off. Check out the link in the show notes. Until next time, this is Marco and Chuck signing off. Keep the past present, folks. Step into the thrilling world of sports betting with The Starting Line, an introduction to sports betting. Whether you're a beginner or simply curious, this comprehensive guide takes you from the basics to the advanced. Learn to decode odds, develop winning strategies, and bet responsibly. Get your copy now and transform every game into an adventure. The Starting Line is your first step towards mastering the art of sports betting. Available on Amazon.